Any movement? No, he's definitely dead. <laughs> Have you got any of those edible knickers? Uh, yes, sir. With a special sugar-coated strawberry flavour. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll take them. I'm sure your wife will love them, sir. Not for her, but for me. I'm a diabetic. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, if you was a wild animal, man, I mean, which one would you choose to be? I, I, I like to be the king of the jungle, right? Like a lion. Rawr! <laughs> That's good, man, because, like, you know, you've got long hair, right? Rawr! And you have bugger all, all day long. Rawr! And your breath really stinks. <laughs> Ah, good evening, sir. Uh, we have a room in the name of Smith. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Smith, yeah. Just for the weekend, is it? No, it's for the full week, actually. OK. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you'd just like to sign here, please, Mr Jones. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> Jones, Smith, whatever. <laughs> it's Smith. We are actually married. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you are, sir, yes. <laughs> you don't sound as though you're sure. Well, it's, um, really none of my business, is it, sir? Yes, well, we are actually married. Right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's, uh, room 102. Enjoy your weekend. Week. <clears throat> it's the full week. We're here on a perfectly respectable holiday, right? Absolutely, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> we really are married. I understand. What do you mean you understand? You understand we're married, or you understand that I'm just saying we're married? Really, sir? Don't say you understand. Say you believe we're married. Darling! I believe you're married. <laughs> Swear it on the Holy Bible. Darling! <laughs> I'm sorry. Just as long as he understands. You laughed, didn't you? No! Yes, you bloody well did. You sniggered. Right. <laughs> See that? It's my driving licence. Read it. It says Peter Smith. Read it, sir. This is my mother's home phone number. Phone her. Ask her what her name is. Peter, come on. You're overreacting. I'm sorry, darling, but just because my name's Smith, I don't want some bloody desk clerk assuming I'm on a dirty weekend. I love you. You're my wife. <laughs> I don't want that special relationship spoiled by the filthy thoughts of a jumped-up bellboy. <laughs> now, don't upset yourself. Go on upstairs. I'll bring the suitcase. <laughs> he really is my husband, you know. Oh, really? It was the man last week who wasn't. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to find out what time the match starts tonight. <laughs> you ask me, you need your eyes testing, Gareth. There is nothing wrong with my eyes. Oh, yeah? How come you're holding the paper at arm's length, then, eh? Because the cat pissed all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hi! The services, do they do fashion a service or are the military dilatory? Well, the big cheeses at the Ministry of Defence have asked our Geoffrey here for some new fashion ideas for the forces of the 90s. So, Geoffrey, what were your main aims? Well, to make them balmy in the army, ravey in the navy and to release the police. <laughs> the RAF was naff, so I said, RAF, you call for Jeff. So what's up next, Jeff? Like I told you, it's a soldier. <laughs> certainly dressed to kill. <laughs> yes, it's a bit of khaki malarkey for our privates on parade. And if Saddam's gonna be a badden, then this super trooper will certainly be kicking up a right desert storm as he shouts, 
four in the Gulf War. I tell you, if Hitler had been dressed like that, he wouldn't still be in the bunker. <laughs> so, next, it's a treat for the boys on the beat, I believe, Geoffrey. Frumpstable. I've had a bit of a purge, a sudden urge to lose the blue surge and replace it with lace. It looks nice on a PC, don't you agree? Yes, sir. This Bow Street runner's a real stunner. <laughs> and for the PC of today, he needs a fast getaway. <laughs> Jeffrey, is that his truncheon or a packed luncheon? <laughs> That lunchbox is two pairs of socks. It sort of gives him that frisky, Linford Christie kind of a look. <laughs> and remember, if you want to know the time, ask a policeman. <laughs> now, that is a very versatile helmet. So, <laughs> tell me, Geoffrey, what's coming up last? Well, last but not least, it's hurrah hurrah for the Jolly Jack Tar. <laughs> and he certainly looks hip on a battleship, and they'll certainly dig it on a frigate. Destroyer? <laughs> Dressed like that, he certainly would. <laughs> well, this salty rum swigger certainly cuts a dashing figure. What are his special features, Geoffrey? Well, he can swap the decks a treat with these mops on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> and if he does go overboard, he won't drown with these on his gown. <laughs> and he may look a bit of a prat in his boomerang hat, but in a gale force 10, it'll come back again. <laughs> and your piece de resistance, Geoffrey. Where would a sailor be without a bell bottom? <laughs> Geoffrey, you're a genius. So, summary, Geoffrey. You don't need to be frumpy to serve your country, so if you're a skinny squatty with a shoddy body, put your puniform into a uniform. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Stand easy. Why not? <laughs> And the cause of death? Well, I think he probably died from being zipped up in this airtight bag. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to France. And in particular, the rather beautiful Chateau Le Mercier, situated here in the very heart of the Bordeaux wine region. Down in the wine cellar right now, Baron Philippe Le Mercier himself awaits to introduce me to the sophisticated world of wine. <laughs> Baron Philippe, may I say, what a great pleasure it is to be allowed into your beautiful home. <laughs> you are most welcome. <laughs> and of course, to be allowed to taste your beautiful wine. Oh, yes, the wine. Um, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, first, we must hold the wine by the stem of the glass and not yeah. by the bowl. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, then we must look at the colour of the wine against the light. Don't mind me, you carry on. We must uh, look at the colour of the wine against the light. Oh, it's definitely red. <laughs> then we... Uh... Was. <laughs> <laughs> then we must uh, test the nose of the wine. Oh, and uh, finally, we taste her. <laughs> and spit it out. Oh, sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling is quite low, yeah. Uh, these must be pretty old. They're all covered in dust. <laughs> Uh, they are 15 years old. This is a 1978 uh, Chateau Le Mercier. It is perfectly mature and uh, ready to drink now. Oh, great! <laughs> uh, if you look at the colour of it against the light, you will see that it is more brown than the one we drank earlier. Um, excuse me, Cosmo. Do you mind if I have a look at that label? Of course. Ah, okay. It's really... It's really <laughs> Taste of wood. It's off. But it's supposed to taste of wood. No, 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 it's definitely off. Right. Be a good chap. Go and get us another bowl, would you? Because <laughs> I want to learn all about the sophisticated world of wine. Well, uh, 
fetch another glass. Not a bad bloke, eh? For a frog. <laughs> Some of the bottles of oh. wine are more than 150 years oh. old. Oh, very bloody dusty. <laughs> Between thirty-five and thirty-six thousand. Mm. I'll give it a go. Please, so please, please, is this the right? Lord, you man, so is this the right? Alan Frost. <laughs> Yeah, very good man. Yeah, get on. Piss off and buy a long, thin loaf. <laughs> what is this? Mm. Ah, Cognac. Napoleon one. Liverpool two. <laughs> She just fainted and... <laughs> I've done it again, haven't I? <laughs> it should be her head between her knees. <laughs> now, are you ready to make a confession now, my son? Yes, Father. Very good. Relax and take your time. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Mm. I told lies. And I swore. And you watched your big sister getting undressed, didn't you? What? No. Confess, you little wee toe rag. What's going on? You'll have to forgive Father O'Reardon, my son. He's watched too many cop shows and it's gone to his head a bit. Now, Father, I've told you, I'm not happy with this nice priest, nasty priest routine. <laughs> Away in shape, Murphy. I'm gonna throw the bucket, you son! Tell me where you've been dipping your wick and it let you off with three Hail Marys. Unhand the lad now, Father. Unhand the lad. Are you all right now, my son? Would you like a nice cup of tea before we carry on now? Sign this confession or it's your knackers on the end of my boot. I, the undersigned, hereby confess to... a donkey? <laughs> You're not trying to pin the donkey wrap on someone still, are you, father? I told you, don't be so harsh on the lad. Harsh, is it? <laughs> the Pope wants results, and the bishop's chewing me a new asshole. <laughs> then you can see how things are around here now, son. Can you remember any old sins you could tell Father O'Reardon here just to keep him happy, like? Well, my sister Anne Marie is cheating on her husband. Oh. And Patrick next door is fiddling his doll money. Patrick, you say. Now, would that be Patrick Kelly now? Well, yes. Look, if this gets out, my life isn't worth living. I'll need protection. Oh, protection, is it? And who'd be supplying a nice Catholic boy like you with rubber johnnies? <laughs> Package tour for the holiday you'll always try to remember. 
<laughs> right, last night, I, I had this, like, terrible tick, tick, ticking in my head all night long. You had a nightmare, man. You must have eaten some cheese. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I ate the alarm clock. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was a biscuit with numbers on. <laughs> it's time to get up. <laughs> Enemy destroyer closing on the starboard bow. Silent running, stop engines. Engine stop, sir. Silent routine. Silent routine, sir. Quiet. Quiet, everybody. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Hey. All right, everybody, quiet from. Now. 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 <laughs> Last time, quiet from now. 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 a visit from the gas man yesterday. Gas man said he was going to disconnect him. So I disconnected him. Don't you just love being in control? <laughs> We've just heard the big hooter. Me and the guys are on our way. We're set free by the big hooter. Now it's a Seventeen and six. Wow! <laughs> so what are we gonna do then, guys? Mm. <laughs> Any ideas, Lionel? We could go dancing. Hank? Oh, we could maybe listen to some music. <laughs> chatterbox? <laughs> Great idea, of Chatterbox. Well, we could go to. No. Come on, Melvin. Melvin. Spit, Spit it out. out. <laughs> oh, it's fancy Q Gardens. What a great idea! <laughs> Hang on! How are we gonna get there? None of us have got any transport. Oh, what a bummer. Sticks and stones. Hang on a minute, guys. I've got a great idea. <laughs> so, Melvin, what do you think? You're the mechanic. We'll never make anything out of this lot. <laughs> but we'll give it a damn good try. <laughs> Crikey, Melvin. You're a blooming genius. Yeah, I suppose it'll do. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We're all gonna Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens for the day. K-E-W, it's for me. Speaking horticulturally. a smile seven and three quarter mile coffee guys yeah great <laughs>
frothies, please. And make them really frothy. <laughs> Come on, darling. Let's give us a little kiss. Let go of me, you're hurting my arm. Let go of me. Come on, don't be shy. You're hurting my arm. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, uh, I think you're hurting her arm. <laughs> if you don't shove off, I'm going to smash your head in with this crowbar. <gasps> Just like you know that Jesus loves you. <laughs> you know, just changed my whole life. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Sorry. <laughs> that was a close one. One for the Lord, man. Gosh. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, gang. We better get going. Yes, we should be going too. But our muggy mine is broken down. And I don't think we're ever going to get to Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens? <laughs> Wow, Gallica Rosa Aficionalis, one of the great English varieties. Wow! <laughs> hey, look, Rosa Genitalia. Come on, gang, let's go. Melvin, is Quiff, you know. What? Well, has he got a girlfriend at all? Girlfriend? No. Oh, great. Maybe there's a chance for me. 18 bob and a new hat, and not so much as a glance! <laughs> no, don't open your mouth when you kiss. Well. That's what your mother told you. When you were a little miss <laughs> She also always told you Kissing can be fun But it never ever involves Using your tongue <laughs> Quiff, the man says, can you move your car, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, um, look after Janie for me, would you? I'll look after her, all right. <laughs> Melvin! So, whatever happened to Melvin? He said he'd be along later. Much later. <laughs> Don't try and stop me. I lost all my money on roulette. Because of that, you're going to commit suicide? No. I'm going to piss on the croupier as he goes home. <laughs> <laughs> 